Right then, folks, welcome back to another video beer review. Today we've got a beer coming out of Beretta, and it is a Delights Coconut Fluff Imperial Stout with toasted coconut and marshmallows, coming in at 11% ABV. Now, can't really remember where this one came from, whether it was a, a day veil or um, if it came from Trembling Madness, which I think it might have done. Um, but yeah, 11%. Just sounds like right up my street. Coconut, marshmallows, Imperial Stout. 11%, 330ml can, it sounds the sort of thing I'd buy. Um, sweet, creamy, rich and delicious, it says, um, oh, there's no ingredients in English, let's try and translate this the best we can, something of cocoa, um, maltodextrin, uh, there's a lot of other things. Um, are you, are you now going to try and translate it? Yep. Google Translate. Ah, ingredients are water, barley malt, oat malt, hemp, maltodextrin, wa uh, water, yeast, coconut flour, marginals. Um, consume responsibly. What's this next bit say? Which bit? Uh, this bit down. Just non-returnable. Manufactured and bottled by Beretta. There we go. That's actually surprising good. What is detect language, I'm guessing? Romanian or something. I don't know. Mm. Anyway, there we go. Um, don't say I'm not useful. You are useful. Um, to me, I think it's Romanian. Beretta's Romanian, I think. I have that. Yeah, it, I'm just reading it and it, and it looks Romanian. Um, anyway, there we go. There we go. Let's crack this one open. Use the Brookhouse glass. A lovely Tuesday Imperial Stout. That smells good. Smells good, there we go, lovely. Looking beer. Single finger, kind of tan, almost light brown coloured head. And then um, a dark, dark brown actual beer. Spritzy head on it, for sure. Which is mask masking a little bit of the um, um, nose you get, get on it. But it is coconut, dark chocolate, coffee. There's a slight kind of herbal touch to it, which I'm beneath that is is very much marsh marshmallow -y sort of notes. I just hope that the carbonation on this isn't too high because when you get a a kind of real spritzy kind of look on it like that, I always worry that it's not going to be it's going to be a bit spritzy. It's not going to be as thick and creamy as you really want, um, and it's had like fermentables in not a not a fermentable good way that you want but um yeah we'll dive in cheers thankfully everything is working perfectly um oh it's creamy dark chocolate coffee slightly roasty on the back end of it It is very heavily coconut, which I suppose is kind of what you want. Um, the marshmallow, for me, could be a little bit more. It does have that marshmallow kind of sweetness. It could do with being a little bit chewy, uh, like a little bit more chewy. And I think the body could be a little bit thicker. It's not quite nickel thick at all. It just needs to be a little bit more thickness in that body. That said, it's bloody good. Beretta, a delights coconut fluff, lovely, lovely beer. That really, really good. I think we're just kind of starting to come into the time of year for me now that I'll maybe start to drink a few more stouts and imperial stouts and that sort of thing. Um, obviously, I've had time where it's been cooling down and starting to move into a lot more bottled ales and the, and the like, and I, and I still will be doing that. Um, probably a little bit less cans cans of you know 
chilled or lagers and things like that and more this sort of a thing because I think it's just what you want when you come home from work and stuff like that I wouldn't say that when you come home from work that's the first thing you want as an imperial stout but um, you know we're not all nickel um, but yeah that is just the ticket just the ticket Beretta Delights, coconut fluff, see it, give it a go. See you next one. Cheers.